Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're back for the final part of the Pitch Perfect Apartment renovation. Now as we noticed at the end of the last episode, um, the upstairs bathroom doesn't actually have a toilet in there. They ordered us to sell all of the three toilets that were in there originally and they didn't ask us to put in a new one. So I do find that a little bit odd but I'm not going to put one in because the job didn't ask for it. So they'll have to walk down two flights of stairs to use the toilet in the in the uh, ground floor <laughs> which seems like a crazy thing to me personally but that's what it's asked us to do so isn't that weird I think there's a slight um, miscalculation there on somebody's part a little oversight right so we do want a little bit of white on the walls in the tiny bedroom which I think looking at the list is going to be a kids bedroom and then we want sleepy blue so a little bit of white and some sleepy blue so maybe we make the two big walls the blue and the little walls of white or something like that maybe that way we can use some of our white and we've saved ourselves having to buy another pot of that one and then we'll start putting in the kids bedroom suite so it looks like our businessman guy is uh, either a single dad or shares the kids um, care because he's setting up a specifically a children's bedroom not just a guest room That's a bit more paint there and we'd already changed the windows in the uh, in this room at least we'll check if I think we changed the ones in the office as well so we'll do the children's bedroom first and then we'll do the office space I wonder if I've got enough white to do now let's do the two short walls in the white and then I think we'll probably do the two big walls in the blue I think I've already said that haven't I but yeah I think uh, if we want to do more white we'll have to buy more white and I think too much white in the kids room is pos probably a bit too much to be honest Kids like nice bright colours. So more of the brighter colour will be better for a kids room. We've got this kind of a strange little alcove there in that corner. Maybe we can tuck the bulk bed kind of in that corner and then make the space near the windows more of a playroom area. Yeah, I think that might work. Just one more wall to do. There we go. Nice blue. Renovate and refresh the entire place. And there we go. That's all our paint done. So, buy paint pots. Right, so the biggest piece of furniture is probably going to be the bunk bed. And like I said, I think maybe it can sort of slightly tuck into the alcove. Yes, yeah, so there's no other really big furniture, there's a, a wardrobe and a bookcase, but I don't think they're huge, are they? So the Calamic Light bunk beds. Oh, no, the uh, stairs are on the wrong side there. Yeah, nice blue. I like that, it's all blue. I didn't need to change it, look, it's all nice and blue perfectly fits the colour scheme isn't it yeah I think that's going to be the best way to do it is to, to tuck this into the alcove isn't it I think I would have preferred the step ladder this end of the bulk bed if we're tucking it in there to be honest just to give them more space for climbing but I, I think it is the best places to pop that in there there we go right so let's have a look at the other pieces of furniture yeah so the, the other, next biggest piece is going to be Oh, well, it's a book stand. It's not a wardrobe. Oh, I thought that was going to be a wardrobe. Let's add a little bit of blue to it. And then let's pop this next to here. Then if he needs a night light near his bed, it can always be popped on there, can't it? And then a proper little step bookcase. Make it blue. The Cali light one. I want to pop that. If I can pop all the pieces of furniture along one wall. And when the kids are running round. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. And maybe we rotate it. Or do we leave it that direction? Let's yeah, rotate, rotate it so it kind of steps us up into the taller pieces of furniture and 
There we go. Right, so let's have a look. So we've got a little like desk for play and crafts and drawing and painting and stuff. Let's make it blue and white to match our colour scheme. And let's put that over the opposite side of the room. Yeah, that way around. Then if we've got chairs, we can put them on the side of it so he, he can play with family or friends or whatever when they come around. So two chairs. So let's make it blue and white again so that we stick to our colour scheme. Yeah, so I'm assuming it's a little boy because it's all blue. Not that a girl can't have blue, but just traditional, isn't it? Traditional. Blue for a boy, pink for a girl, and yellow if you don't know or you're not sure or you want it to be unisex. That's kind of the traditional way everybody does it, isn't it? So nice blue moon and stars and cloud rug, which will pop by the seating bit to keep their little toes warm. And then we've got a few pieces of play equipment. Oh, I love it, rocking horse. So it could be white, but do you know what? I think we might go for the brown rather than have everything to be white. Hmm. Where's the best place to put it? I mean, when they're actually playing on it, they might move it into the middle of the floor. Little things like that can be picked up any time, can't they? Star ceiling lamp. Let's make it blue. Pop it right in the middle. That's kind of cute, that, isn't it? I like it. Very nice. And um, what else have we got? Ooh, stars. Lots of stars. We want lots and lots of stars. So do you know what? We need to mix and match them. Make them different colours. Let's put them near the table, shall we? So we we'll, we we'll try and use all the colours and mix and match the sizes. So we've had a medium. Let's have a another one, sort of the same thing, and, and maybe try and if you know some of the star patterns, maybe you can make a specific one, or you can kind of make one big star and then make like a little comet burst tail, or just randomly throw them around. And they try and make something that looks a bit like a sort of star cluster style of thing. I'm not deliberately trying to make a specific one, to be honest. I'm just making it look like we followed a specific pattern here. But you can, of course, traditionally make a specific pattern. So that's, uh, yeah. So how many more do we need? Three more. Right, okay. Have we used most of the sizes? I think we've used most of the sizes. What colours have we not used? So two more. Where shall we put the last two and how big shall we make them? Yeah, we've not used yellow, have we? Yeah, where shall we? Right up on the top, yeah. And then one last one. Where are we going to pop that? Make it a little one and we go back to the darker blue. And let's put it to kind of join them together a bit. There we go. That's our stars done. So we've got a plant. Epipremum. Hmm. On the table? There isn't really anywhere else to pop it, is there? Except maybe the windowsill. You can put it on the windowsill. But I imagine those sorts of windowsills a kid would sit on them, so probably not a good idea to put the plant there. I suppose you could have put it on the uh, bookcase, but I just didn't think that sound right. Obviously, we've got a nice big basket for popping toys and things in, so we might need to move the rocking horse and put the basket there instead. Because it's not going to fit in the corner, is it? It's too big. Um, and there it's going to be too close to the door. So I think we need to move the rocking horse and then we can put the big basket for toys there. And the rocking horse can go up against the wall here. Because that will be less of an impedance to the door. Because it can be tucked away because it's quite narrow. And then the basket can go here and then we're done on this room. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, a nice little kid's room. Lovely. Alright, so let's see if we can get a good angle for you to see where we've popped everything. And see if we can get a good angle to take a picture of the room. It's a little bit difficult actually because it's a... It's a tiny little cute little room. Oh, there you go. That's not too bad. Let's try that one. Maybe we'll use that for the screenshot for the vid. Right, there we go. So we have... Oh, the doorways have uh, left this not matching thing. I wonder if we can figure out which flooring we are to match it. They're not actually asking us to do anything but it just looks a little bit odd. Maybe we uh, try and match that. Right, so which one is it? It's 
got to be one of the newer ones, hasn't it? Is it the Maestro Dark Panel one, maybe? Let's just try that and see if it matches. No, it's not that. It's the wrong colour. Oh, no, it's the uh, V-shaped one. It's the V-shape. Where's the V-shape? Uh, yeah, Herringbone Dark Walnut. Nope. Hmm. Can't be the really dark one, can it? Surely that's darker, isn't it? Oh, it is, it's that one. It's the one that looks darker. Oh, that's interesting. Right, so let's check the uh, other door. That's right, we did that one with tile, and then this one here. Beautiful. I think that's fixed all the little imperfections there. Lovely. So that just leaves us now with the office, and then the house will be completed and the job will be completed. Yep, this is our last room. Red, dark red walls. Specifically, the colour is bloody red. Ooh, that sounds like a horrible name. But I think they should have changed that to maybe a plum red. Or no, I suppose that would have to be a bit more purple. But dark red or Victorian red or something. That would have been a much better name for it, wouldn't it? It's actually quite a nice colour, but the name's not good. No, no, the name's not good. Right, oh, hang on. Are we painting all the walls in this, like, Victorian red colour? I think we are. Yeah, I think I think that one's got a very unfortunate name, that paint, and it needs to be changed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess he didn't like the floral wall. <laughs> and since there's so much white in a lot of the rest of the room, he rooms he decided he wanted a darker colour in his office, yes. It's definitely a statement colour, isn't it? But it's kind of an older Victorian colour again, so it's kind of more in keeping with the style of the house again. But for a, an actual in period, you'd probably want the half wood panelling with paint on the top, wouldn't you? Or totally traditional with the house, so it's kind of halfway gone to the a nod to the traditions of the house, that kind of idea. Oop, can we get the little alcove? Yep. I think we just missed the other side of the window, and I can't really get in very well from here, can we? Yeah, we can sneak in. That's it, we can get that now. And we have changed the windows already, cool. Oop, just under the window there, we nearly missed a bit. We're getting along with this very well. We're over 70% already. Just the last little bit of this wall. And then, just keeping the rest of the furniture, we need to add a little bit more stuff in here. We need a computer, paintings. Armchair. Are we done? I think we're done. So we just need to do a little bit of neatening and tidying and sorting. So should we put that up on the wall? The guitar is a rem rem reminder to the uh, music school that it used to be. The Kira leather armchair. Everything in the room is dark red and brown and brown woods, quite dark brown woods. So the chair can either be a complete contrast or it should fit in with everything else. So which one shall we go for? Let's go for the black to bring a little bit of his modern from other areas in. Maybe we tilt it a bit into the corner. Seems like probably the best place to put that to me. Let's get him his computer on his desk. Right, what colour shall we go for? Do we keep it black? Shall we go for black? Yeah. So we'll make our accent colour black because we've got black on the chair there, look. 
is already on the office chair that is kept. Your budget will run out soon. It's a good job we're on the last room then. So let's make sure we get the computer stuff set up first. Nice black keyboard and then we'll get him a little black mouse. And then that's computer set up now for his business work from his own home office. Oh, home office. Home office. <laughs> And then some pictures. Is that all then? Some pictures. Oh well, there we go then. Much simpler than I was expecting it to be. Ooh, that's a little bit big for there. How about this long back wall? I'm surprised I didn't ask for a, another bookcase or a small sofa or something in here as well. Let's put another one over the opposite side. How many paintings have we got? Oh, four. Do you know what? I think we're going to have to put three along this big back wall because there really isn't anywhere else to put it and then the fourth one can go on the end wall as that's the only space we've got really and that's the one that isn't a mainly white background so it fits better on the end wall doesn't it so that i think then is the house completed so there's our office space he's kept it very simple look this is kind of his place to keep his artwork so there we go, that is the Pitch Perfect Apartment is now completed. So the old music school is now a perfect home for our businessman and his son. And the ground floor is for his entertainment purposes. So there's the office. Kids bedroom. Quick tour throughout the house and then we'll uh, turn the job in. That way we double check that we've done everything. The bathroom, which strangely doesn't have a toilet and does have space for one. Very odd. <laughs> and then the bedroom. For the businessman himself. And we put the bed exactly where he asked us to right at the beginning with these uh, instructions. That's rather a nice little group in that. Quite like that. This top floor's got smaller rooms than I think you would expect in such a large house. Uh, but it's a lovely house actually, very, very nice. That's the renovated piano that we kept from music school. We also kept the still life painting and the gramophone and the fireplace and everything else we've put in new. We knocked some walls down here, made it all open plan. There's the dining room section and the kitchen. This is the main living space for our businessman and his son. And then when we go downstairs, we've got the entertainment space. So you can sit and converse with people when in that section there. double-checking that everything's completed and I think everything is there we go so here's your seating area or if you're conversing with business people and then we've got the entertainment area here so he's got a little bar piano and then some seating just behind us as well so you've got all the things you need for your entertaining down here and the piano of course was kept from the music school too and the cabinets there and then the final little space is the powder room downstairs. There we go. So there is a toilet in the house, don't worry. <laughs> so there we go, that's the pitch perfect apartment completed. You have completed 100% of the job. Let's turn it in and see the before and after pictures. Look at the difference. Oh, I'm very pleased with that. It's turned out really nice. be a lovely home for them. Very satisfying that to turn it around so much. It just makes such a difference, doesn't it? Right, so we'll return to our home office and then we'll have a look at the building and see if it's still a music school when we get to purchase it ourselves and do it up ourselves. So let's pop inside and take a look at the browser and see what the pictures look like and what they've called it for purchasing it for ourselves, for our own renovation. 
No browser. Full purchase. And we're looking for the ones with the little red sign in for the luxury flipper expansion. And there's the warehouse. A couple of the apartments. No, where is it? It's going to be one of the most expensive ones then, isn't it? Uh, where are we? Oh, there we are. The Townhouse Hostel. So, when we get to purchase it, it was a hostel, not a music school. So, it's £219,000. A hostel in a stylish townhouse, one of the oldest buildings in Moonrise Bay. The price includes all three levels ready for rearrangement as well as any equipment left inside. And it, some of it looks reminiscent, some of it looks very different. There we go, so that's the new house, a full renovation. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy games!